Hello, this is Mark Sabatella from Outside Shore Music, home of Mastering MuseScore. In this week's tip, I want to show you how to place harp diagrams into your score. I'm going to assume at this point that you know a little bit about how the harp works and why pedal diagrams are necessary, but the, uh, the brief summary is uh, by default a harp can say play either F or F sharp and uh, you would have to set the pedal to tell it do you want to play F's or do you want to play F sharps and uh, or F flats for that matter so uh, and the same for G you can set the pedal for G to either play G or G sharp or G or G flat and so you have to set pedals uh, to be able to play different passages in different keys. So I have a passage here and this piece is in the key of F and we can see that based on the key signature. Now by default a harp player is probably going to figure out that hey I better set my pedals to be that way. They should probably make their B pedal to be a B flat. But let's make that explicit, all right? I'm gonna come over to the beginning of my score here. I'm gonna select the first note of the harp part, and I have a choice. There's a harp palette, and if you don't see the harp palette, you can come to where it says Add Palettes. Um, and click the Add Palettes button, and you'll find a harp palette. This is new as of around MuseScore 4.2 or so. Um, uh, so the, these these harp palette these harp pedal diagrams work great. Um, so I'm going to select that first note of the harp part, and. Uh, I can either add a text version of this diagram that shows each of the letter names with either a flat or a sharp, or I can, or a natural, or I can add a version that actually uh, shows a picture of the harp uh, pedals. Those are kind of cute. I like them, uh, and harp players like them from what I understand. There is a practical advantage to the text version, and that is if later on in the piece we need to cancel out one of those accidentals or change things around, we only have to show the pedal that changed. If you use the diagram, you're going to have to show the whole diagram all the time. And so it takes up a little more space. I typically write in with text, and then if harpists individually want to write in diagrams, they can. Also, I am putting the diagram right at the beginning of the passage. If a harpist wants to write it in themselves a little ahead of time to give themselves a little advanced warning, they are welcome to do so. Um, I don't want to have to tell them when it's time to change. I just tell them where it needs to be changed. You can figure out for yourself when. So that's my feeling anyhow. Harpists, feel free to say you wish I would do it earlier. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to add, well, I'll show you. If I put in the text version of the diagram, you'll see the diagram appears here with all naturals are selected by default. So I want to say I want B flat. And now notice I select B flat in the little widget there, and now the picture shows that that pedal in the flat position. So that's what I want there. I can also just switch to the text display, and then I get a text version of that shows all the letter names with their accidental. So as I mentioned, I'm going to just stick with that. So that's how you add them. It's as simple as that, and you can flip back and forth between the two styles. The nice thing that MuseScore does for us is notice that later on uh, I'm going to need... Um, uh, it switches to the key of D, and here as well a harpist will see the key signature change and probably make the pedal changes themselves, but it's useful to put them in explicitly. And so that is what I did. I put in one here that says, please play a C sharp, please play, you know, please use the B natural, and please use the F sharp. If I delete that pedal marking, look at what MuseScore is doing here. It's highlighting that F sharp in red and that B natural in red to indicate that with the unless you put in a head up uh unless you change pedals those notes aren't going to be playable it's basically showing you the same way it shows notes out of range so if you don't put in the proper change uh you're going to see red notes and that's going to be your clue as a composer arranger orchestrator that you need to put in some pedal changes so again i can select that note and say that i want to add this pedal it's going to default to show me where the pedals currently are i want to turn off the b flat turn on the C sharp 
and F sharp, and now I have what I want, and bye bye all those red notes. So that is uh, how you add pedal diagrams to your score using MuseScore Studio.